Are you trying to save money? Well, welcome to the club. Who isn't? Well, today I'll show you the best websites that will stretch your dollar. I'm Pilpina, and this is WebBeat TV. This WebBeat TV is made possible thanks to Hover.com. Visit WebBeatTV slash domains to get your 10% discount. So saving money doesn't mean you can't get a new book or DVD. If you're willing to swap, you can have a different collection every month without paying a single dime. You can trade books through paperback swap with anyone by mail. Just sign up, list 10 books you're willing to swap, and the site gives you two credits. Getting a book costs one credit, and every time you send a book to someone else, you get a credit. Very similar is Swap a DVD, where you can refresh your DVD collection without breaking your wallet. Swap.com claims to be the world's largest swap marketplace. Besides from books and DVDs, you can swap clothes, toys, sports equipment, jewelry, home goods, pretty much anything you're looking for or are trying to get rid of. Just create a list of things you have, a list of things you want, and swap it. No need to pay. Swap.com also has a free iPhone app that lets you scan items you're willing to swap, scan items you would like to get, and email shipping labels. And if you don't necessarily have a bunch of items you're willing to swap, or if you just want something for a little while but don't want to pay full price, consider renting. Zillick lets you rent anything you're looking for. Whether it's a drill, a canoe, or an ice cream machine, someone has it standing in their garage somewhere willing to rent it for a couple of bucks a day. That's a lot cheaper than actually buying it. Plus, you can search for local renters so you can rent things from people right in your neighborhood. And of course, you can also become a renter and make some cash on the side. If you do want to buy something, make sure you never ever pay full price. Websites like fatwallet.com collect store coupons, the best deals of the day, and their forums are a great place to keep an eye out for awesome tech deals. Thank you, Hover.com, for making this episode possible. As you might have heard, I am a Hover lover. Not just because it sounds cool and rhymes and all, I seriously love Hover. This domain registrar is very different from other crazy at-screaming websites you might be used to. Hover has smart, simple tools, clear prices, and excellent customer service. You can now use my code WEBBEAT for a 10% discount on domains at Hover.com. You'll be supporting the show, and I promise you won't be disappointed in Hover's excellent service. Go to webbeat.tv slash domains for more. Sometimes you just have a specific amount of money in mind for a certain product. Well, instead of browsing hundreds of sites yourself, check out Price Spider. Just create a list of items you want for the most you're willing to pay for them. Say you're willing to pay a hundred bucks for a new camera. Well, just tell Price Spider and it will do the online hunt for you. You'll get an email when your wish list item shows up at the price you're willing to pay or less, of course. And if you already bought something, say a laptop, and you find out the exact same laptop went on sale a couple of days after you bought it, don't panic. Priceprotector.com helps you get money back if items you bought have dropped in price. So if you're doing any large purchases, it's smart to register them here because they'll send you an email when the price of your item drops after you bought it. Then you can claim your cash with an email, phone call, or store visit. And here are a few sites to reduce your daily or weekly costs. One item, groceries. Getting groceries is not exactly the highlight of my week, but there are many, many websites that can help relieve some of the costs. One of the most famous ones is coupons.com, which shares a lot of coupons on pretty much anything. But it's a great source to lower your weekly grocery costs. Like I said, there are many, many coupon websites out there. One of the best things you can do is to find a blog or site that focuses on your region and your supermarket. There are many blogs out there that mainly focus on one supermarket in a specific region, and they give you the best deals of the week complete with meal deals and free deals. Which coupons you should use with which item that's on sale so you don't have to pay anything. Who doesn't like that? Another big money gulper, gas. Every time I'm at the pump, it hurts so much I have to pay. Gasbuddy.com and gaspricewatch.com track the cheapest gas stations by your area. All you need to do, plug in your zip code and you can find the best places for filling up. And last but not least, 
Free Cycle. If you like free stuff and if you're online all the time, check out Free Cycle. It basically is one huge free flea market. It's a large collection of things people are giving away. Just sign up for your city and you'll automatically get email updates with free offerings. But like I said, you have to be quick. It's like they say, someone's trash is someone else's treasure. And that, my dear money savers, are some of the best sites to protect your precious wallet. Don't forget to subscribe to us either on YouTube or by going to webbeat.tv slash subscribe. Have a great day and happy money saving. Doei! Okay, Pepina, okay. Okay, no. Let me go to the top.